Hey, good evening, guys. It's uh, Courtney here with Knowledge Well Media. I just wanted to touch base with you a little bit here. Not going to be before you long. It is March the 22nd of 2020. And uh, as usual, there's no shortage of news, even during the weekend. I wasn't going to do a video, but I decided to uh, just end the evening um, with just a little something for you. Um, didn't want to leave you hanging too long. I appreciate you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this. Get this word out. It's important that we all stick together. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And then also hit that bell to get the notification so that you uh, know whenever I post something new. That'll send you a notification to your phone. <clears throat> Again, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, <clears throat> it's very important that we get this information out to as many people as possible. And uh, I just wanted to bring this article up here. I was just going over, um, and this is uh, Fox News did a story on uh, uh, Zimbabwe and how uh, the title of the, the, uh, the uh, article is Coronavirus is Punishment for Sanctions. Uh, U.S. must also feel the pain, Zimbabwe official says. All right. So I'll read a little bit of this here. While millions of Americans are holed up at home and stocks nosedive again on Monday as the coronavirus outbreak drags on, the defense minister from, from an African nation described the deadly pandemic as God's punishment for sanctions imposed by the U.S. and other, West, and other Western countries. Zimbabwe's defense minister, Opa, Muk I think this is Mukengri, uh, spoke Saturday at a meeting of, uh, of ruling party supporters where she claimed that the COVID-19, which has left thousands dead across the globe, is, quote, sanctions against the countries that have imposed sanctions on us, on, uh, end quote. Uh, and then, quote, God is punishing them now and they are staying indoors now while their economy is screaming like what they did to ours by imposing sanctions on us, Muking, uh, uh, end quote, Mukingri said at a rally in Chinahoy, located about 75 miles northwest of the capital, Herrera. All right, uh, let's see, what else is, uh, did she say here? Mukingri also took aim in her criticism of the U.S. Uh, at President Trump. Donald Trump, quote, should know that he is not God. They must face the consequences of, of coronavirus so that they also feel the pain, uh, end quote. She said in the local Shona language. Zimbabwe has not yet recorded a case of the COVID-19, but neighboring South Africa has more than 60 cases. Okay, across Africa, 30 of the continents, 54 co countries have confirmed cases. Her comments also have uh, come as the Senior Hospitals Doctors Association argues that the country is ill-prepared and incapacitated to detect the virus, according to the Sunday Times. Her comments ignited a firestorm of criticism from many on social media, with many taking aim at her stigmatiz stigmatization of the epidemic. The main op opposition movement for democratic Change Party on Monday described uh, Mukingri's statement as reckless, quote, reckless, mor morbid, and inhumane, end quote. The remark spurred President Emerson, um, I'm going to try it this name, Nangagwa, Nangagwa, to issue a statement Monday saying his government, quote, emphasizes with the affected people around the globe, uh, end quote, according to the uh, Associated Press. Okay. I wanted to skip down here real fast where it goes on to report that the comments made by Mukingri echoed similar remarks made by Iran last week, which is in the midst of the deadly coronavirus pandemic. All right. The Iranian regime has blamed the coronavirus that's possibly left thousands dead on U.S. sanctions. And, uh, quote, the American administration does not care about Iranian people, end quote. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Abbas Musavi said at a press gathering on Wednesday, uh, quote, they shed crocodile tears, end quote. China has also made questionable remarks regarding the outbreak that began in that country. 
Last week, China's foreign minister, ministry implied that the U.S. Army, quote, might be uh, responsible for bringing the coronavirus to Wuhan, the Chinese city where the outbreak first emerged. So I just wanted to read a little bit about, about that. I thought that was interesting, and uh, we definitely want to pay attention to, to those uh, happenings there. Who knows what's going to come about that This uh, from the remarks made by... Um, by this individual in Zimbabwe. Um, clearly, we're not the favorite, um, and perhaps for quite a while we haven't been the favorite in uh, other countries. But nonetheless, I just wanted to let, uh, bring that to you again. That article, let's see here, is the Fox News Channel and uh, by Travis Fed, Fedshin, F-E-D-S-C-H-U-N. All right, that's Fox News. You can check it out. It was published about six days ago. I just came across it now. Thought it was interesting. Uh, let's see what becomes of that. Um, major indictments being handed out against the U.S. and uh, and, and uh, Trump, the like. Okay, so anyways, but I just want to touch base with you. I didn't want to be before you long. I think um, in light of some of the things that I'm, I've been hearing um, through the grapevine, um, I anticipate that there's a lot more turmoil a lot more, uh, a lot more issues coming our way. I want to make sure I um, stay and keep. I mean, keep you in the know. I want to stay, stay in communication with you. We definitely need to have a conversation. I know that they're uh, discouraging us uh, to meet in groups larger than ten. Uh, initially, that was my uh, goal: was to get us to meet, especially if you're local in the Wisconsin area, um, so that we could put together and strategize on a plan. You know, to to uh, safeguard our economic standing, perhaps our families, uh, make sure that we have supplies and that we have an emergency plan because things are certainly unstable and uh, there's not a lot of uh, free flow of information. And it, 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 I think it's even um, being quelled uh, much more and it will be quelled much more into the future. Um, hearing a lot of news that's very upsetting to me personally um, uh, some of the moves that the government is rolling out, some of the uh, feder federalization or, or, or um, how shall I say, um, where government is taking over corporations, um, where the Fed is just uh, planning to buy up a lot of the, uh, the debt and things and the bonds and a lot of the private organizations uh, with so-called bailouts, which is going to cause those corporations to... Um, to essentially merge with government. And I, in person, I just think that that's their ultimate goal and plan. You know, uh, Gregory Manorino says a lot that the Fed plans to be the lenders uh, and buyers of last resort, meaning um, if, if all of the private sector, all of the small businesses, the mom and pop shops, the middle class, if all of them are going under and tanking and the Fed can print unlimited amounts of money and they... Um, you know, are working hand in hand with the government. You can hear Trump cons consistently saying that Trump needs to lower the interest rates. And uh, there, and now we have this um, unlimited pumping of money into the system and printing of money. They're offering, I think they're saying they're going to ramp the printing presses up to $1 trillion and pump that in in this repo scheme. So uh, it's not good. It's not looking good. So I, I, what, what say you, we need to get this discussion going. I'm not getting many comments. I, I think I'm getting like one comment from, uh, I think it's Mark Drain or something like that. He keeps uh, comments and I appreciate that, but we need to start talking guys. Um, you gotta have questions. There's gotta be something that you need to know that's going to help you know how to strategize and, and make moves that are best for your family. Let, let's help each other out. Let me help you out with the studies that I've done. Um, but I need you to reach out. You can uh, hit me up at KnowledgeWell, the number four, the letter U, uh, knowledgewell 4 you at gmail.com. Otherwise, put your comments down below. I'm thinking about opening up a private, more of a private line um, with this YouTube so that our plans stay amongst us and we can form our own kind of private group on the YouTube channel. I want to go live so that we can have conversations with each other. If anybody knows how I can get that all set up and uh, you're interested in being involved in that, it's time to do that now. I, I guarantee you that this needs to happen immediately, like this week, early part of this week. 
because there are things that are rolling out that, frankly, um, I'm not easily scared, but for lack of a better word, that kind of scare me, okay? And I need to let you know these things that I'm finding out and that I'm studying. I'm doing this on a daily basis from sunup to sundown, guys. This is what I'm doing, this research and, and studying, okay? So I know I got information that I can help you with, but um, don't put your head in the ground like an ostrich. Um, it's not going to make what's happening go away just because you bury your head in the sand, okay? Um, let's deal with this. Um, it's going to take all of us to work together. Don't be out, out of the loop because um, as, um, as the scripture says, the people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Don't be destroyed for lack of knowledge when uh, I'm extending my hand out to you and uh, we need to work together and come together for our posterity, our family, and for our country. All right. So real sobering things coming. I need you to, 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 to plug on in and uh, hit me up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, let me know what you have to say below. We need to put this plan together yesterday. All right. Courtney Scott with Knowledge Well Media. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hit that uh, subscribe button down there and that bell so that you get notifications. Get this out there, guys. We need people with great ideas to come together and make this thing work before it's all, before everything that we've worked hard for is completely gone. Believe me, freedoms are on the line. Courtney with Knowledge Well, signing out. Good night. See you in the morning.